Good evening, my friends. How are you doing this wonderful day? Hano here one more time to bring you another brand new game review. This time we're going to review the game called Stars in Shadow. Supposedly to be one of the brand new 4X, you know, the explore, expand, exploit and exterminate kind of games. It's kind of rough to try to compete to one of the brand new t titles uh, like Master of Orion that got released just a couple months ago, which was a really, really good game. I know I owe you guys the game review for that title. However, this game, it's from an, an indie developer, so it's supposed to be, you know, like halfway, you know, it's not gonna be like the best game ever. But lately we have seen some very nice uh, titles out of uh, these independent developers and, and that means that we should all give a try to these kind of games and uh, I, I've made a crusade of myself to actually start checking all these new games. So this time I grabbed this game for not a lot of money, it's really cheap and uh, got some good comments about the game before I got it. So I actually expect a very good game. Now, I gotta say that having played Master of Orion, I, I am speaking about the new version, uh, it's probably going to lack uh, several very nice concepts of the other game, but uh, the best way to actually see this is to actually see it and play the game. So let's go with a new game and I knew that it was the graphics were kind of cartoonish and uh, it could be appealing for some people and some others are probably going to find it uh, lackluster. However, checking on the classes, you can see that even that they're cartoonish, they're well made. Besides, in this kind of games, graphics are probably one of the least expected things from the game. You're probably going to look for gameplay mainly and uh, some other aspects like AI, like uh, the story behind and uh, to me it's, it's not just the management of the colonies and the resources but also the battles. In this kind of games battles are actually really important. So for this game, because as we can see the graphics for the ships are like basic in some cases, like in this one, it's like a sketch. But in this one, the, the ships are very well detailed. So, I'm actually gonna go with the Ashdar Colonials because they have escort carriers uh, early on and this, to me, sounds like a big ship that deploys smaller ships and those are really nice, especially at the start of the game when you don't have huge ships like Doom Stars and shit. So, let's pick up this, the Ashdar Colonials. We ha you have a lot of options for the map settings, like setting the AI, which I've been told that it is decent, mm, kind of really brutal and brutal. And uh, just for the review, we're just gonna grab an easy one, normal galaxy. You can set a lot of different shits in here. Which is, you know, okay. I've read that if you play native races, you're f sometimes gonna find planets that you can, you know, liberate from pirates and stuff, and they become another race in the game. It's kind of a cool idea. Master of Orion doesn't have this. I mean, it has pirates that build bases and stuff, but you don't really f liberate a whole race out of, uh, like, a blockade or something, or in slavery. Yeah, I don't know. So we're gonna go with tutorials and uh, let's just go. To be honest with you guys, I am not very fond to the whole cartoonish shit. But uh, so far, I haven't seen ugly, ugly graphics at all. I personally don't like the pixelated and brand new wave that has been doing in, in so many games in pixelated graphics. I just don't like those. However, I know that many of you do. So I'm just going to continue with this. I'm not going to really read the text to 
you know, not spoil the story for anyone. And as we can see, we have a... The UI, it's simple enough, has big icons to show you. This is, this is a lot like Civilization games. I know this game also has a, a redo and undo uh, options. So if you fuck up on something, you can just do it again. Now, the, one of the difference with this game is that you have resources that you accumulate. This one's right here. Which are going to be spent the time that you manufacture shit. And it's not just what the colony outpost. Or, I mean, the colony output of the stuff that you can make. So, this gives another turn in the game. Because you can sometimes have very powerful colonies that can produce a lot of manufacturing points. But if you don't have the resources, you are not going to be able to, to just get them. Same as the money. There are so many games that as soon as you accumulate a lot of gold, you just can pretty much build everything instantly and it kind of destroys the, the I don't know, the, the logic of how really an empire should be managed. So as we can see, like I was saying, the interface is really simple. It has a planetary report that will allow you to move from one planet to another. Uh, the events are going to be appearing on the right side of your screen. There's a big next button. And uh, in here we have our first fleet selected. However, I'm going to just click on the map so I can see the stars and stuff. You can zoom in and out and you can actually see in detail how many planets a system has, for example. Uh, it's nice. Like in all 4X games, you're probably gonna have a colony ship, yes, a transport and some kind of a scout ship. So, let's explore the closest uh, stars. And uh, you just right click, yeah, it's, it's simple, intuitive. We have three plants in the system, and this icon shows that it's mineral poor. Okay, I have a space station on this one, and this probably means that I can have four colonists on the planet. Yes, uh, this has a two now. Yeah, I really don't know what the dots around the two mean, but I guess we will find out. It's probably because this planet doesn't have an atmosphere, it says airless, so. Most likely you're gonna have a way to terraform planets later on and stuff. Let's go with the research. Okay, research. The research interface shows you kind of very simple what you can get with the next uh, technology you unlock. However, I, I right now miss a, like a big tree where you can like plan ahead of time and stuff. Just get. I'm gonna get the mass driver because it's a, a weapon upgrade for ships, which is the coil gun. I know the game starts with just laser weapons, and uh, these coil guns are a little better. You should probably start this way if you are actually going to, I don't know, like uh, plan on fighting a lot. Remember that in this kind of games, you can win in very different ways like you can do a diplomatic win like exploration win probably building a specific crap or just the probably the most wanted or the most fun at least for much much of the people or, or many of them which is you know the total conquer in which you freaking destroy everybody in the galaxy and just own every fucking planet and you are like the master of the universe and shit I don't know if in this game there's like a big plot like the Orions, like in the, the Master of Orion saga in which this is a fucking race that lives in another dimension, that one of the ways of winning the game was, you know, to actually kill the Orions, like uh, attacking Antares, which was the, the planet of them. They had also the council win. I, I really don't know what you had find in here. I know that this is the influence, which is uh, how diplomatic shit that you do which I've read that diplomacy it's it's it has a lot of things to actually um, how it affects uh, how you play the game and I, I know that the influence it looks a lot like the old civilization games in which 
you had to get influence to actually get perks and stuff. But we're gonna be seeing. It says in here that the factory has been completed in Rastaban 2, which is my system. If I click here, it will probably take me to the colony, yes. Oh, graphics are quite nice, as you can see. Cartoonish and all, they're very nice. Let's just... Uh, I got a factory. Let's get a farm because we should get some food. It will be completed in three turns. Okay. One of the things that I find that is missing in this part is to have a building queue. Like, uh, well, you probably could, like, grab more stuff. Yeah, you can queue actually in here. Okay. Let's get the farm and get a mine next. And the lab. All right. We got the colony ready. It says our ships ready. Yeah, I already sent my scout ship. The transport works for transporting troops and also food and troops and and, and different crap like like fucking people from one system to the other. So we're just gonna leave it here. And we're just going to colonize the first nice planet that we can see. So let's start advancing the game a little bit. Okay, there's a symbol that appeared here. What the fuck does it mean? Oh. Oh, okay. It finished what it was doing originally. Okay, we've found signs of life on on waterless okay it explored the system we have native population okay I imagine that if I make a fucking uh, colony in this planet it's probably going to give me something normal minerals oh look at those ugly fuckers right there Okay, they live here and you're probably gonna get them, those three million of these ugly fucking aliens, if you colonize this planet. That sounds good. This one, three million population. This goes up to 16 million. Alright, I'm gonna grab this system. I liked it. Let's grab our colony ship. Fly over there. And this fucker keep exploring. Yeah, the music is kind of... I can't say it's bad, it's, it's cool, but it gets kind of repetitive already. I'm probably going to turn it down a little bit. Yeah, it was a little bit um, repetitive. Yeah, we have some options in here that you can probably gonna play eventually or something. Let's keep going. Alright, we got a, a small flag here, meaning that I can freaking colonize. Alright, let's colonize this planet. We got the new colony, and let's set something in my build queue. Uh, let's see, we, have, we don't have metals. We produce a little bit, we have some money. Alright, let's get some metals. Right, we're building a mine. We discovered a new system. This has a derelict colony. Okay, if we build a fucking planet here, we're probably going to get the bonus of that as well. Alright, so we need to build another colony ship. Remember that expanding is probably the most important part of the, this kind of games? The AI tends to expand really fucking fast, so you're probably going to want to do the same thing. Uh, we're still building a lab over there. Let's advance the time a little bit. Oh, a lot of icons. We explored Ag Aculus. There are the craft at Aculus. Hmm. Research is done. Unhappiness at Waterless. Oh, what the hell? They're freaking sad or... Alright, we have to fucking build something to increase happiness. Alright. And let's see, we got Echolus. That's a nice planet. Looks like Uranus. No pun intended. Okay, it doesn't look anything out of the ordinary. Uh, we found an, uh, an abandoned transport vessel, 100 gold. Okay, that sounds good. Alright, we finished mass drivers. 
Let's do now. Hmm. Yeah, let's get the guidance system so we get some missiles. I know they are they are fucking angry. What do you want me to do? There's nothing I can do. Um I don't even have fucking uh, troops to actually, I don't know, keep order or some shit. Uh, let's see, let's try to keep exploring. Okay, if you right click on the ship, you can actually see how far you can go. Let's go to that one. We're gonna finish doing this and then we're gonna probably send the only ship I got so it can, you know. Oh, the. Then press is over. Yeah, I don't really have a fucking clue what happened there. All right, we finished the lab. Let's get. Hmm. Okay, tanks. If carried by transport to hostile planets, tanks can be used to perform invasion actions. On planets with this content, the presence of ground units will suppress rebellions. Okay. All right. Let's get a colony ship. Seventeen turns. Yeah, that sucks. All right, let's keep going. Okay, we got the guidance system. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Which one gives me some fucking unrest control? Uh, uh, let's go with the markets. Money is always necessary in this kind of games, and as you can see, I'm not really getting a lot. Uh, signs of life in Remit. Okay. Oh, rich mineral deposits on Remit. That's nice. That's a nice freaking planet. Uh, okay. Well, this is a fucking nice system. Look at that. There's precious metals there. Four millions. Rather small planet. See this one? Nine million, nothing. <laughs> look at those fellas. <laughs> they, look, they look like fucking worms with rat teeth and like. Look at those eyes. Oh god. Alright, well, that's three million of these little fuckers right here that we're probably gonna go get. Us. There's also rich minerals in this planet, so. Definitely gonna colonize those douchebags too. Oh, we got the dirty colony over there. Alright, let's keep exploring. Rich minerals, precious metal, native, native inhabitants, alright. Shit, we don't have enough transports. Ah, crap, I mean, I actually need more food. There's nothing I can do. Still some turns to actually finish that. I know. I know they're going to be fucking dying. There's nothing I can do. Uh, detected activity. There's no signatures that might almost be ship drives. Hmm. They're organic. Okay. What the fuck was... Oh, shit. There is a... Uh, okay. There's three star harpies. They're going to attack my fucking scout cruiser and they're probably going to fucking beat me because it's just one ship. Uh, Alright, let's... Um, hmm. Uh, okay, I got attacked. Auto combat, defend, auto retreat. Just gonna retreat. Yeah, I can actually watch the battle of what could have been, like those three battles, the three, three fucking ships and the bad ship. Ooh, go! Bam, I'm out! <laughs> Alright, well, the, the, the f battle screen, it's kind of neat looking. Uh, I can't say no to that because it is kind of cool. Alright, they're probably protecting something good. Shit, I'm still fucking dying of a starvation. Alright, the mine is ready. Let's build a transport. 24 fucking turns! I don't think so. Shit. Oh, look at these guys! Oh, these guys are starving! Yeah, they're all starving. Yeah, they're gonna get angry very soon. 
Uh, fucking farm, 21 turns. Oh, we can, we can buy it. Yeah, just fucking buy it. You see? That's gonna fucking save me from a starvation. Okay. Ah, uh, that saved me from a starvation. I'm probably going to want a fucking factory, which takes 50 fucking six turns left. Ah, uh, crap. Mine 21, farm 30 turns. Uh, let's just keep building food so these douchebags don't starve. Can I explore any other systems? No, you cannot. Wait. Just pick up that guy. Yeah, this guy has a wider range. Um, yeah, we have a few systems that we haven't explored yet. Six turns. Okay, we got the market theory. Synology gives science a station. Uh, boarding tactics. Oh, trade cargo for transport. Yeah, that, that sounds good. 15 turns. Holy crap. Okay, we got the colony ship made and we are going to make a transport so we can actually transport food. <laughs> yeah, transport sounds good. Alright. Transport sounds good. We got the colony ship. Well, we have to make a decision. Should we make mineral rich and the natives? Precious metals. What are the precious metals? I would like to know the bonuses. Or we can get the derelict colony. No, I think I'm gonna go for the freaking rich mineral ones. Yeah, that sounds better. Okay. What the hell? Our ships have encountered identified objects in Toliman's system. Sounds. What the? F <laughs> there were three fucking <laughs> star harpies in this fucking system, and in here, shit. There is fucking nine of them. Ah, uh, okay. Let's fucking retreat to. Oh, whoa! Look at that fucking army. Oh my god. Yeah, graphics are nice. Cartoonish and all, they're fucking nice. Okay. Yeah, I hate to have to fucking run every time. I do have like no fucking ships to fight anyway, so. Okay. Um, what can we do? What can we do? Let's fucking build some ships so we can. You know, probably, hopefully, kill these fucking harpies. Right, we discovered. No, 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 no. We didn't discover shit. We just returned from retreating. Oh, yeah, it's time to colonize a planet. Why the fuck I can't colonize this one? Shit is airless. This is the only system I can fucking colonize. Yeah, that sucks. Fuck this system. Let's just go to the other one. We probably lack the technology to fucking colonize that one. Okay, we got a destroyer. Let's be in another light cruiser. Six turns left. As you can see, I'm consuming my metal. Alright. Oh, look at that. System encounter. We have encountered... We have encountered a Gremac Marauder base in the Holder system. Oh, okay, these fuckers are pirates. So you have stumbled upon our base of operation. Our proposal allow us to continue operating here, and we will graciously permit you to pay us a regular tribute. Otherwise, we shall add your colonies to our slave stock. What do you say, insect? <laughs> what do you say, insect? Pirate base. I say that. No. I say die fucking slaver scum. Yeah. I don't negotiate with terrorists. I don't fucking negotiate with terrorists. They have two destroyers. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a very fucking big armada. Uh, okay, retreat. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Fucking retreat, and we're gonna grab some ships, and then we're gonna go fucking rape those fucking pirates. Alright, that sounds good. Let's get... Shit, my ship looks small. Next project, we're probably gonna want... To improve a little bit. Okay, antenna styles. Fusion reactor provides power for the ship's engines, shields, and energy weapons. Alright. 24 fucking turns. Rapid fire lasers. Let's go with tag and physics. Settlers at Musa. Oh, okay. Alright, let's fucking colonize this one. Alright, let's fill the farm. Rastaban 2. Let's keep building some fucking warships. Yeah. Six turns. Alright. Yeah, that's a little. That's, that ship is a bit bigger. Fucking transports. Okay. The farm is ready. This guy's. Oh, that's the, the first colony. Let's get some minerals. Oh, yeah, they have. They're building fast. Alright, let's build a mine there. Okay. They finished this. <coughs> they can't. Which one is this one? Musal 2. Yeah, I don't have room to build any more fucking things here, so. Hmm. Let's get a destroyer. Six turns, yeah. Alright. Another light cruiser. I'm gonna build one more light cruiser and then I'm going to attack those fucking pirates. Hell yeah. Alright, five turns. Well, as you can see, guys, the game has already fucking got me <laughs> playing. Uh, completely fun. It, it is fun game. I can't say no to that because it is. And I've been having fun and I haven't really done much so far. So... Alright, we got our fucking destroyer here. Go there. And... Uh, hmm... What can we do? What can we do? We're going to get some fucking trade. Yeah. Alright, making some money like in every fucking 4x game. Gonna wait for the cruiser, which is done. Alright, time to kill some fucking pirates. What can we build here? Hmm, let's see. Let's go with fucking. Do we have. Do we have a science lab? Yeah. Alright, let's get some research on this one. Right, perfect. Good to go. Next research project. Mm -hmm. Let's go with the crab ones. We're probably gonna need them anyways. Okay, let's see our super fleet, consisting of four light cruisers and two destroyers. No, no, three light cruisers, the scout cruiser, and two destroyers. I think this should be enough to take out those fucking pirates. And we're gonna find out. <laughs> Fuck, I can't reach them. Shit. <laughs> also, I can't fucking reach them, they are outside. Damn it. 
Well, alright. I'm gonna leave this part where I, I'm actually fucking playing with the game just to um, continue with their game review. I will be showing you some small parts of other fighting battles and stuff that I've already done. I'm gonna add it to this review. And I'm gonna go with one uh, part of the game at a time. The controls. With the controls, I'm gonna say that it is simple to play. The UI is, is well polished and uh, it's pretty simplistic. However, it gives you all the information necessary so you can actually keep playing the game. The menu is really simple and the um, options menu, as much as it is very simple and you can't really set like screen resolution or something, at least not here, it allows you to have a several options that are quite good. So in that matter, I'm going to give him uh, a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 in controls because it is really freaking simple and very well made. About the gameplay. In the gameplay, I'm probably going to give it a 10 out of 10 because the game in 10 or 15 fucking minutes got me already stuck in and I am keep passing the turns. I just can't stop. There's so much to do. I mean, you saw in this small game game time that I gave you that the options in different planets and what's in what to do with the events, the enemies and all that, it's it's a lot to do. Several options and they're all fun to do. And as much as I really couldn't fucking attack these pirates because my ships don't have the range for it, only the scout can reach those planets. It however I can actually research those new engines in a few more turns and I can yeah, just go and fucking kill those guys. So it will probably work. So in gameplay, 10 out of 10. I like the way the game plays. Graphics. In graphics, I'm going to say that as much as I don't really enjoy cartoonish games, and uh, if you see the interface and all, it's it's well polished. Uh, However, I know that some people are not really going to like that, so I'm only going to give it an 8 out of 10 because I think that they could have done a little bit better, especially in, 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 in some of the small details of stuff. I mean, they're really nice detailed ships and there are other ones that look like fucking sketches, so out, out, of, t out of 10 it's, uh, it's the score in graphics. In sound and music, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because sounds are really simple. Music, it's not really that good. It's like poorly composed and it gets repetitive really soon. So just 7 out of 10 in music, no more than that. Now, when we go in the story or story and diplomacy and all that stuff, I'm going to only give it 7 out of 10 because that will I, I, I've i seen the diplomatic screens and they're really limited there's not really a lot you can do like in other games, in other 4x games there's so many options that you have in diplomacy that actually can turn the tide in this game it's mostly people asking you for shit and the forming treaties and trade agreements and stuff like give small bonuses to your civiliz civilization but you don't really have a wide variety of options to like I don't know other than just t giving a guy a chance to give me that fucking system or I will kill you there are or there should be a lot more options considering that you are not always going to want to kill everybody there are people that actually like to explore and, and win in an explorer's way or stuff like that so guys for the final a verdict I'm going to give this game an 8.3 8.3 out of 10 which puts it above the average score by quite a good bit meaning that 8.3 that it is a good game that you are going to like this game you're probably gonna have fun playing this game obviously if you like the strategy 4x kind of games if you're looking for a fucking first person shooter you're you are not going to find it in this game this game has that spark of the one more turn thing that makes strategy games so good 
that you want to see what's gonna happen in one turn and that turn means another turn etc you haven't even seen and you have taken fucking hundred turns from when you were saying just one more turn and these kind of games tend to uh, completely fuck up your ta your game times you start playing at i don't know after you you arrive from work at 8 p.m you start fucking playing the game and you watch the time one more time and it's midnight and you're like wow i just spent four fucking hours playing a game yeah all of us have spent countless hours playing games but this kind of games are so fucking addictive that the time passes so fast that you just simply can't stop and the next time you saw the time it's four in the morning and at eight in the morning next day you need to be working so i'm going to <laughs> recommend that you go slow like play the game you're going to enjoy it but don't fucking go over your responsibilities but you're going to end up feeling sorry later so 8.3 guys a pretty freaking solid game you're going to have a lot of fun the price is low it's very cheap for an for an independent game so it's not going to even going to be a huge investment for the amount of hours that you're probably going to do the story mode is not really that big of a deal more like the tactical strategy part of this game so you're probably going to if you enjoy this kind of game play hundreds of hours in this kind of game and i've played also master of orion which is the triple a that uh, appeared not long ago a couple months ago or something like that and it doesn't really have a lot to envy to that game even that the other one has better graphics a more robust uh, engine and it even has fucking uh, excellent acting sound in the game i mean having fucking luke skywalker as one of the the, the characters in it, it's, it's amazing they, they, these guys have nothing there's like almost no voice from the the alien races or anything but what you're paying here is for the fucking gameplay which is really freaking good so it's gonna get a badass sign as well it is a badass game so if you enjoyed this and you actually like what you've seen just go get the game it's cheap have fun enjoy and i don't know i don't know enjoy losing the little fucking life you have because this game will consume it all and it's probably going to be for a while until you know we all get zelda uh, breath of the wild which we're all waiting for for much of the third so like i always said guys if you enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel so you know every time I, I upload a new video if you have a comment leave it in the comment box I don't care if you are if you want to make a criticism just I've always said do it with respect I will always answer those comments and uh, let me know what you think if you have played the game if you agree with what I said and if you don't or, or some criticism about the game they're all welcome guys so I'll see you guys in the next video and have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.